Hey there guys, um, I'm going to do a video today on ponytail palm care. Um, the other name for this plant is elephant foot palm. Um, they store water in the chunky part of their trunk, which is called a caudex. Um, they love to dry out between waterings. Um, this is a desert plant, so they don't even need high humidity. Um, they're fine in your home, even in the winter when the heating's on. Um, and they don't even like to be watered a lot. Um, I water mine only once, like every two months. And then in the summer, once every month and a half. Um, they're slow growers, which is great because mine's already kind of big and I don't want it to get any bigger. Um, they don't flower indoors, but they do actually flower outside. Um, they need that extra sunlight to flower and I'm kind of glad Although I kind of want some seeds to start some babies, but I don't want a bunch of flowers coming out of it because I like how it looks. So I'm kind of happy about that. Um, they only need fertilizer about once a year. And um, really, you, I heard you never have to fertilize them really. Um, maybe once every two years, once every year, but it's not that big of a deal. Some plants like really need fertilizer, but not really ponytail palms. So yeah, um, this is definitely one of my favorite plants. Um, I think I get the most compliments on this plant of all my plants. And um, mine was a rescue plant. It was from a neighbor whose basement flooded and she couldn't take care of it anymore. And she had actually taken it out of its pot because the pot had broken um, when someone was trying to fix her basement. So she didn't even have it in a pot and I think she was just going to let it sit there and die and um, I told her it's really cute and she said, do you have a big pot because you can, you can have it. And so I said, yeah, I actually had just gotten it, that big pot it's in um, the same month that she gave it to me. I don't know how that happened, but it was just, it was fate. <laughs> so I was really excited and... Um, came home and planted it the very next day. Um, and it's just looking so much better than it was at first. Um, I got it on New Year's Day this year. So yeah, um, I just really recommend these plants and I think they're really awesome to have in your home and they make it look so pretty and they add a touch of green to, and they're fun and they're, you know, have a lot of character. So I really recommend this plant. Thank you so much guys for watching.